welcome back myself samagra berader now so far you have learned about entity authentication deterministic and non deterministic mechanism and providing the freshness so in the providing the freshness mechanism we already learned about clock based and sequence based mechanism and what are the drawbacks of clock based and the non based sorry sequence based mechanism to overcome those drawbacks so one more mechanism is available that is non based mechanism it is need for some integrated infrastructure if you want to require this non based mechanism to use then you require the integrated infrastructure and here requirement is the ability to generate a nodes so here you are able to generate a nodes for generating those nodes you require the random generator algorithms so those algorithms you can generate using the any of the okay random generation procedures or can integrate that one with the infrastructure so here is the one of the scenario where suppose that alive generates it nouns so here you have to generate a nouns and then sends it to in the clear to bob so now that nouns along with the message alive will send the okay that message contains nouns to bob here and when suppose when uh, the bob receive that message so it will check that nouns and based on that nouns bob will decide that whether that message is fresh or not okay freshness is it here it is based on the nouns here and after that bob will okay generates its own nouns and it send the that nouns along with the alice nouns here so whenever alice receive back that nouns so alice will get to know that as yes, it is receiving the message from the bob and that is the fresh message here suppose then that bob sends it straight back instead of sending the nouns of the bob if bob sends the whatever the nouns it is received by the alice what happens here so alice can't deduce anything okay from such a simple scenario so here so for example if this is the situation then alice can't do anything here because maybe due to some reason bob may be sent the same nouns as it is actually bob has to send the nouns of its own okay but instead of that if uh, it's uh, bob send the same nouns back to alice so what is the reaction here so there is the no reaction here because it is the just as the acknowledgement to prove the freshness so this is the one scenario so in that situation what happens here so that freshness what happens here that freshness is not possible here there is a chance that the nouns could have been generated before so before means what it is so it may be earlierly generated and later it is sent to the bob here earlier okay earlier that is maybe cases there alice is generated the nouns earlier only and after later sometime it sends to bob here so that is the second chance of the scenario next since a nouns was used bob is showed that the message from alice is fresh here so for example assume that alice want to send them some message to charlie then alice what will do alice will generate a nouns and it alice will send that message to charlie here and charlie what will do charlie simply forward that message to bob here okay so then bob will think that is what this is the reused method okay but bob whenever it sees this now bob will think that that is the message it is receiving by the alice here but actually bob is receiving that message by whom bob is receiving that message from the charlie here okay so later bob will generate the nouns of its own as a acknowledgement it sends that message to charlie and charlie simply forward that message to alice here so alice will think that that is it is receiving the reply or acknowledgement from the bob here, charlie here okay but actually that nouns is generated by whom it is generated by the bob here so here so this is the one more scenario the scenario here also you can prove that that is the freshness here okay these are the some okay problem arises in the noun based mechanism so nouns based mechanism is very simple so here you are generating some okay randomly you are generating some numbers and that number generation is possible with the help of the some of the algorithm so those algorithm must be known by alice and the bob here so alice will generate the nouns once and one nouns it is generated only once repetition of the nouns is not possible using those algorithms so whenever alice will generate the nouns and after generating that it adds that okay nouns along with the message and it sends to bob 
whenever bob receive that message bob will generates the once again one more nouns and that message reply as a nouns with the that uh, okay acknowledgement of acknowledgement to the alias message here so in this way they will prove that these are the fresh message and we are the only two we are communicating here so but these are the three scenarios there may be problem arises here so first let's see comparison of freshness mechanism so here as you already know that you are used the three different types of the comparisons one is class placed another one is sequence numbers and a third one is the nouns based so in the clock based you are providing the freshness or alloy of the messages it is based on what it is based on the hardware device that is the clock next one is the sequence number so here you are proving the or providing the freshness it is based on the sequence number 1 2 3 4 like that okay so now nouns based is the okay this is the third type of the freshness mechanism this nouns based is based is what it is depends on random number and that number it generates only once unique nouns is generated here okay so synchronization is needed or not synchronization is needed in the clock based as yes, same time it must be there with the same clock what are the time it is showing in the sender side same time if it is there in the receiver side then only it will prove that as yes, it is the freshness is there sequence numbers as yes, there also synchronization is needed because sequence numbers what are how, from where you are generated that sequence number also it is necessary for the receiver also whereas in the noun space synchronization is not necessary so it randomly generates the sender will generates the randomly nouns and receiver also receive after receiving that just it checks that nouns is fresh or not here whenever it receives just it checks that nouns is fresh or not okay unique different nouns if it is received that's why here synchronization is not needed communication delay here as i told earlier due to the communication so window is needed here also window is needed and here also window is needed in communication delay windows are needed in all the three mechanism and integrity is required as i told earlier time if you are doing no clock based freshness mechanism if you are using then okay if you are modify so that modification may creates that is the problem here and here also in the sequence number if uh, attackers will modify that sequence number then also it creates the problem here so here integrity checking is also very important here it is not necessary as i told earlier nouns is the randomly generated number so that number is what it is if hackers will modify so then bob will get to know that as i told that nouns is the unique number and it is known by the alias and the bob only so that's why integrity is not required here if hackers will modify then okay that bob will get to know that this is not the actual message or actual nouns which is generated or which is sent by the alias here okay next is minimum passes are needed so in the minimum passes in the clock based so only sender has to add the clock time here okay and only sender can send the sequence number here from the receiver side you do, it is not necessary to prove that whether that message is received or not acknowledgement from the receiver is not necessary so that's why here only sender minimum pass needed in the clock based and the sequence number whereas in the nouns based is yes, minimum pass needed is the twice that is what i told so first so alice will send the message along with the nouns to bob and bob will generates the nouns of its own and it sends as a acknowledgement then only alice will get to know that as yes, this is the message is received by the bob and further communication is takes place here so here minimum pass needed is what two here and special requirements so if it is the clock based clocks are really needed and sequence numbers sequence database because you have to store the sequence numbers and based on the in the stored database only you will de decide whether it is a old message or new message whereas in the noun space you have to generate a random number for generating that random number we require the special requirement as a random generator so this is about the comparison of freshness mechanisms next is fundamentals of entity authentication so first one is the identity okay in the fundamentals of entity authentication first 
one is identity the identity of the entity who is making a claim to be authenticated so now for example if you want to prove that that person is or that okay entity is genuine or authorized or authenticated so that is what we call as a identity identity is what it is to prove that that end okay so the okay well, whoever you are using so while making the communication to prove the authentication of the person so how you will make the claim that claim what are the entity you are using no so that is what we call as a identity for example so i am the person i want to communicate now so through the network okay online communication i want to make now so before making communication first you have to claim to be authenticated you have to claim that i am the authenticated user so what entity you are using so entities may be the your password or it may be the your pin or anything so that is what we call as an identity next is freshness freshness that is the claimed entity is alive or involved in the current session next fundamental is here is the proof that it is the fresh message while in the current session so what are the okay communications will make no that communication is fresh or alive so that entity what we call as a freshness next is unilateral and mutual entity authentication unilateral means only one sided so sender will prove the okay authentication of the senders but at the receiver side receiver is not necessary to prove that i am also authenticated user so such type of the authentic entity authentication what we call we call as a unilateral for example if i take as your bank transaction you want to take some amount okay you are using the atm so while making the okay bank transaction in atm so there what they does if you want to withdraw some amount okay through the atm what is the procedure you have to follow you have to enter your card and after entering that it you okay records what are the records user informations are there that one it extracts from the chip and it matches if it is matches next procedure is what it is you have to enter the pin here so that is the secret number so when you are enter that secret number that pin is your prove or claim to be as authenticated so now that is the entity authentication in the same way are you getting any authentication from the atm also from the atm side also you are getting any authentication no only users will prove their authentication by entering the pin number so such type of that authentication what we call we call as a unilateral next one is the mutual entity authentication mutual entity, entity entity authentication means what it is the authentication from both sender and the receiver so sender has to prove that i am the authorized user in the same way receiver also has to prove that i am also authorized user so such type of the authentication what we call we call as a mutual entity authentication next is a problem with entity authentication so problem with entity authentication i'll take the example of the your atm only so now i am the user i want to prove my identity so for that i use the use the here claiming authentication is based on the entity entity is what here entity is the my pin number so i'll insert the card and i'll enter the pin so after entering the pin one more person will come and okay they will move back okay they will hijack okay hijack the uh, atm and they don't allow me to access the amount here so what happens here yes i prove that i am the identity i have the authentication i claim my identification okay authentication and after that before it is received by amount by me third person hijack me and he will collect the amount here so that thing is is it possible to recover from such type of the problem 
No. So, this is the what we call as a problem with entity authentication. Meaning of this one is very simple. So, if you go for the any of the entity authentication, entity authentication is during entry time only. Once if you approve your identity, then what are the communication will take place? No. During communication, you are not repeating the procedure of identity. Even if I take your Gmail, all those things also. When you want to open your account, okay, Gmail, you want to read some, okay, your messages or you want to open your mail. So, for that, first you have to enter your username and the password. Password is the entity to prove the entity authentication here. That is the identity here. Once if you are entered and after that, you will make some communication. In between, any other person will forcibly if say, see your okay information. If the person hijack you and he will see or he or she will start you, what are the informations you are having. That person may be read or they, that person may be send the messages to or send the mails to others here. But in that situation, are you approving that identity once again? No. So once if it is over, then after that, any third party can access your this one authority and they can, okay, play the role of authorized user here. So that is the problem of entity authentication. Then what is the solution? The solution is to combine entity authentication with the establishment of cryptography key here. So along with the entity authentication, if you are combined the cryptography key, then you can prevent from this type of the problem here. So these are this is about your entity authentication. Is it clear now? Okay, thank you.